Murdo, a, a really proud day for you and everybody connected with the Howe Club as your new community sports hub clubhouse facility opens. Exactly. No, it's been uh, five hard years to get to this stage. Um, yeah, immense pride today for everyone, all the volunteers. It's been quite a, quite a journey, I would say. Joined now by the father figure of the Howe of Fife Club, Dave Rollo, who played for Scotland 40 times, 1950s, 1960s. And when you look at the facility now and compare it to when you were a player, it's chalk and cheese, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, well, our changing room was in the Royal Hotel in Cooper. It's closed down there. It's a, it's a, a residence, I think it is. But anyway, we changed down there, and room seven was our changing room. So if you were it was a muddy day, if it was a, you were last in it to get into the single bath, it was about two inches of, of mud in the foot of the bath, so you virtually had to go home and wash yourself and come back into town again. So that was that was the difference. And now um, I've never seen anything so plush as what it is here at the present moment. Then this is where it all started for you, Pete. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's great to, to have been asked down to, to open the new facility, and um, it's brilliant just to be surrounded by so many old faces. You know, nothing really changes. It's it's got that real community feel, and it's uh, it's just the same club that it was when I was running around here with Fuzzy all those years ago. It's, it's been incredible the work that you know the whole community's put in to raise that money, and I know they've had a lot of tough times trying to gather funds and things, but you know no one gave up, and they all kind of believed and bought into what they what they wanted, and to see an end result like this is is great. And you know I'm I'm sure that the the club and, and the whole community will, will thrive with it in the future. Chris, it's 10 years uh, since you were playing for Howe Fife and Bell Baxter and winning every conceivable youth trophy under the sun. It must be a really proud moment to come back today to this uh, opening of the new facility. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I, uh, I was here last year when they first started on it and I haven't been along to see all the, the different stages but to see it now completed is uh, absolutely brilliant. It's uh, a bit different to when we were minis and you had the old uh, wooden benches and the cold changing rooms but it's, uh, it's, it's a top class facility and I think it will uh, it'll be, it'll be very good for the house future. The fact that people stay at the house, you know, it's, it's a big, very much family orientated uh, club and we like to use local talent, you know, they've never, they've never been a club that's brought in uh, people from elsewhere and I think just their willingness to, to nurture their own and uh, make their own as good as they can is just that it's a great model to follow. Ferg, um, it's a few years since you retired from playing but uh, rugby is obviously in the blood and uh, very special to come back to how today. I can remember my first ever uh, mini on a mini training session on a Sunday. My, my good friend Craig Meekham from school uh, invited me along, and it just it just sort of went went from there. And it was uh, obviously it was great it was great fun. I really enjoyed it. And obviously with the new stand, that's only going to help encourage more kids and more parents to bring their bring their children along. And that's why I think the most important thing is building for the future. And, Surely this is only going to get numbers up and uh, we'll hopefully let the club kick on.